the darkness of Bray Road, unveiling the legend of the beast in the rural heartland of Wisconsin, where the sun dips into the horizon and paints the sky with hues of crimson and gold. A dark legend has long been whispered among the locals. The beast of Bray Road, a creature so elusive and enigmatic that it has captured the imagination of cryptozoologists and folklorists alike, is said to roam the shadows of this seemingly idyllic landscape. As we embark on an investigation into the heart of this mysterious tale, the scent of damp earth and decaying leaves fills the air, transporting us to a realm where myth and reality blur. The road itself becomes a character, its crumbling asphalt whispering secrets to those who dare to listen. We'll follow in the footsteps of the brave and the curious, tracing the path of Mary Ann Cotton, a young woman whose life was forever changed by a monstrous encounter with the beast. It was the year 1890 when Cotton's fate took a fateful turn. A lone traveler reported seeing her being stalked through the woods, pursued by an unholy creature that seemed to be born from the very shadows themselves. The beast's eyes glowed like lanterns in the night, illuminating the path for those who dared to venture into its domain. As Cotton's fate became a legend, so did the creature itself a monster with the strength of a bear and the cunning of a wendigo. Cryptologists have long debated the nature of the beast of Bray Road, proposing various theories about its origins and purpose. Some claim it's an ancient entity awakened by dark magic, while others believe it's simply a manifestation of our collective fears. As we delve deeper into the heart of this enigma, it becomes clear that this creature is more than just a monster, it's a symbol of the unknown, a reminder that there are forces beyond our understanding lurking in the shadows. Our investigation takes us to the rural town where Cotton lived and died. Locals share tales of hearing strange noises in the dead of night, as if the beast is still roaming the woods searching for its next victim. But what lies at the heart of this creature's existence? Is it a shapeshifter, able to take on the forms of those who wander into its domain? Or is it simply our own shadowy reflection? cast upon the wall of reality. As we navigate the twists and turns of Bray Road, we begin to unravel a sinister web of secrets and lies. It becomes clear that this creature's existence is linked to an ancient curse, one that has been passed down through generations of locals. The curse speaks of a pact made with dark forces, trading human souls for power and immortality. The truth behind the beast of Bray Road remains shrouded in mystery, but as we approach the heart of the forest, the air thickens with an otherworldly presence. We sense that we're closing in on the creature's lair, a place where myth and reality converge in a swirling vortex of darkness. And then, there it is, the beast itself. Its eyes burn like hot coals as it emerges from the shadows, its massive form casting a long, ominous shadow across the forest floor. The air is heavy with anticipation, as if the very fate of humanity hangs in the balance. In that moment we realize that the Beast of Bray Road is more than just a creature, it's a gateway to the unknown. A reminder that there are forces beyond our understanding waiting to be uncovered. As the darkness closes in around us once more, we're left with only one question. What secrets lie at the heart of this enigmatic creature? 